Spain is grappling with the aftermath of a devastating Dana storm. This severe weather event has claimed many lives, leaving a trail of destruction. The Valencia region has been hit particularly hard. Torrential rains triggered flash floods, turning streets into rivers. Homes and businesses were submerged, causing widespread devastation. As floodwaters recede, the true extent of the damage is becoming clear. The Spanish government has declared a state of emergency. The nation now faces the daunting task of recovery and rebuilding. A massive rescue and recovery operation is underway across the devastated regions of Spain. Thousands of emergency personnel are working tirelessly to locate survivors, provide medical aid, and begin the long process of cleanup. The Spanish military has been deployed, utilizing its resources and manpower to reach those stranded by the floods. Helicopters are plucking people from rooftops and flooded areas. Boats navigate once bustling streets now transformed into waterways. Emergency responders are going door to door checking for survivors and providing assistance to those in need. The scale of the operation is immense, reflecting the sheer magnitude of the disaster. Despite their tireless efforts, rescuers face significant challenges. The extent of the flooding makes access to certain areas extremely difficult. Debris and mud hinder their progress. Communication networks have been disrupted, further complicating coordination efforts. Yet the dedication of these brave men and women is unwavering. They are working around the clock, driven by the hope of finding even one more survivor. Their commitment to helping those affected by this tragedy is a testament to the spirit of compassion and solidarity that defines humanity in times of crisis. The Dana storm has inflicted catastrophic damage to critical infrastructure across the affected areas. Roads have been washed away, bridges have collapsed, and transportation networks have been paralyzed. This widespread destruction has severely hampered rescue efforts and isolated communities. Power lines have toppled, plunging homes and businesses into darkness. The lack of electricity has disrupted communication systems, making it difficult for people to connect with loved ones or access vital information. Water supply systems have also been compromised, leaving many without access to clean drinking water. The disruption to essential services is compounding the already dire situation. Hospitals already overwhelmed with casualties are struggling to function without reliable power and water. The lack of these basic necessities poses a serious threat to public health and safety. The full extent of the damage to infrastructure is still being assessed, but it's clear that the cost of rebuilding will be staggering. The Spanish government faces the enormous task of not only restoring essential services, but also rebuilding infrastructure to withstand future extreme weather events. The Spanish government has mobilized swiftly, deploying emergency services and resources to the affected areas. Prime Minister Pedro Sanchez visited the devastated regions, expressing his condolences and pledging full support for the recovery efforts. However, the government's response has not been without criticism. Some residents have voiced frustration over what they perceive as a slow and inadequate response, particularly in the crucial hours after the storm hit. They argue that more could have been done to prepare for such an event, given the increasing frequency of extreme weather events. Others have questioned the effectiveness of early warning systems and emergency preparedness measures. They believe that more proactive measures could have mitigated the storm's impact and potentially saved lives. The government maintains that it acted swiftly and decisively, given the unprecedented nature of the disaster. The storm has ignited a debate about climate change and its role in intensifying weather events. Many argue that this tragedy underscores the urgent need for stronger climate action and investment in resilient infrastructure. The government's handling of this crisis and its response to these concerns will undoubtedly face continued scrutiny in the weeks and months to come. Amidst the devastation and heartbreak, a wave of compassion and support has swept across Spain and beyond. Local communities have rallied together, offering shelter, food and comfort to those who have lost everything. Volunteers from all walks of life have flocked to the affected areas, eager to lend a helping hand. Donation centers have been inundated with essential supplies, clothing and toiletries. People from all over Spain have opened their homes to displaced families, demonstrating the true meaning of solidarity in the face of adversity. The spirit of generosity and selflessness is a beacon of hope in these dark times. International support has also poured in. The European Union has activated its emergency response mechanisms, pledging financial aid and technical assistance. Neighboring countries have sent search and rescue teams, medical supplies, and humanitarian aid. The global community stands in solidarity with Spain during this challenging time. The outpouring of support, both locally and internationally, provides a glimmer of hope amidst the devastation. It is a testament to the inherent goodness of humanity and the unwavering belief that even in the darkest of times we are not alone. Section 6. Economic Fallout, Agriculture and Tourism Hit Hard The Dana Storm's impact extends far beyond immediate loss of life and property. The economic consequences of this disaster are expected to be severe, particularly for the agricultural and tourism sectors, which are vital to the affected region's economies. The floods have wreaked havoc on farmland, destroying crops, vineyards and livestock. The damage to agricultural infrastructure is extensive. 
disrupting food supply chains and threatening the livelihoods of countless farmers and producers. The economic toll on this vital industry is still being calculated, but it is expected to be significant. Tourism, another pillar of the local economy, has also been severely impacted. Popular tourist destinations are now inaccessible, with hotels and resorts forced to close their doors. The cancellation of flights and travel disruptions have resulted in a sharp decline in tourist arrivals. The Spanish government has announced emergency funding and support measures to aid businesses and individuals affected by the disaster. These measures include financial aid for reconstruction, tax breaks, and support for workers who have lost their jobs. However, the road to economic recovery will be long and challenging. Section 7. Health risks emerge in storm's aftermath. As floodwaters recede, new dangers emerge. The stagnant water combined with damaged sewage systems and debris creates a breeding ground for disease-carrying mosquitoes and bacteria. Health officials are warning of a potential public health crisis. Waterborne illnesses such as cholera and typhoid fever pose a significant threat. Residents are urged to drink only bottled or boiled water and to avoid contact with floodwaters. Wounds must be kept clean and dry to prevent infection. The psychological toll of the disaster is another major concern. Many survivors are grappling with trauma, grief, and the loss of their homes and livelihoods. Providing mental health support services to those affected is crucial. The Spanish government is working to address these health risks by deploying medical teams, setting up mobile clinics, and distributing hygiene kits. International organizations such as the World Health Organization are also providing assistance. Ensuring access to clean water, sanitation and medical care is paramount to preventing further suffering. Section 8. Weather alerts continue. Preparing for potential rainfall. While the immediate threat of the Dana storm has passed, the danger is far from over. Weather forecasts predict continued rainfall in the coming days, raising concerns about the potential for further flooding and landslides. The ground remains saturated making it highly susceptible to additional rainfall. Rivers and reservoirs are at capacity, increasing the risk of overflowing. The Spanish meteorological agency, AMET, has issued weather alerts urging residents to remain vigilant and prepared. Authorities are urging people in flood-prone areas to evacuate to higher ground. Emergency shelters have been set up to provide temporary accommodation. Residents are advised to monitor weather reports, heat evacuation orders, and have emergency kits readily available. The threat of further rainfall underscores the importance of continued vigilance and preparedness. While the immediate focus is on rescue and relief efforts, it is crucial to remain prepared for the possibility of further weather-related emergencies. Rebuilding Lives and Communities Spain begins the long process of recovery revealing the disaster's true impact. The loss of life, homes and businesses is profound. Rebuilding requires commitment, resilience and solidarity. The government has pledged financial assistance and support, reconstruction will be extensive and costly, the international community offers aid and expertise, healing emotional scars is equally important, the trauma will linger long after the floodwaters recede, the road to recovery is long, but the spirit of the Spanish people is unyielding, their resilience and commitment will help them emerge stronger.